thought you guys best friends or just partners? I don't know what kind of partners they're talking about. <laughs> we're actually, uh, we're partners. <laughs> we're partners. He's my lover. Uh, if you have friends, is that okay to make a business and have no quarrels? Uh, yeah, man. I've known I've known Eric since, uh, you know, ha over half my life. No quarrels, no issues. Yeah. He's, yeah, actually. He's my child's, uh, <laughs> he's one of my kid's godfather, man. Yeah. yeah. He's, a, he's a good dude. We have, you know, we, we just, we're pretty thorough with ourselves and, uh, and we we understand where it is so it's got yeah. you know it, we just understand and we keep it honest with each other hit that like button for YouTube that's right subscribe hit that like button Nutrition says last month the company we use got us four thousand back from missing refunds. It's insane that Amazon is this inefficient. Uh, listen, uh, you can't knock it, dude. These guys are doing how many billions in sales? How many different third-party sellers are selling on their platform and, and brands and Vendor Central? They're going to miss. They're going to miss products. But yes, they're not perfect. That's for sure. And you do need to either use a third-party software or be on top of that yourself. Uh, you need to have some sort of automation to really be on top of it and scale. So we used to third-party software. Now we do it ourselves. But do not expect Amazon to be perfect. They will lose products. They will damage products. Um, they, they won't account certain products and you need to be on top of all of that. Sometimes you'll have incorrect FBA fees. There are tons of tons of different discrepancies that happen through their fulfillment networks and you need to be on top of that because that's your money, that's your investment that you're losing if you're not watching it. Mufasa Sell says, the best Amazon coaches I can say. Thanks for all the info. Appreciate it, Mufasa. Appreciate it, man. Well, what's above? What's a company you recommend to get your missed refunds? Yeah. Well, like I said, we're doing that ourselves. So you could just look into different... Uh, just type in Amazon refund companies and Google. Yeah, yeah. And, and there's reviews. There's plenty of information out there that you guys can, you guys can look into. What do we got next? That's a close friends guy. HT Nets. Have you guys sold anything international? We have, uh, but that's through Amazon Global Selling Program. Any thoughts, tips... When you're ready to scale, if you feel like you can can no longer scale on the U.S., then absolutely tackle that. Or maybe you want to just jump into an international marketplace because those marketplaces are less saturated, less mature. Uh, there's plenty of uh, opportunity internationally, whether you're going to Australia, Japan, Germany, Italy, France, U.K., the Middle East. Plenty of opportunities uh, to grow those immature markets. Absolutely. Kevin Cobb said, I'm a six-figure seller and want to take it to the next level, but I've ran into a roadblock as far as capital goes. What is your recommendation for going about getting more capital? Um, so you, I've, I've hoped you've um, definitely maximized your credit options by you know, taking out four or five credit cards, um, preferably with some sort of returns or uh, for, like the plum card has a, four, what is it, a 45 day grow, uh, grace period? 60. Or, or 60, 60 days. Yeah, so 60 two day months with the plum card uh, for a grace period for payment. And if you pay off early, they will deduct some of those. Uh, a percentage. A percentage yeah. off of that final um, due, due total. And then also you can get uh, business credit cards that have cash back points or uh, miles. Um, so that's an opportunity. And then if you have an Amazon offer, a loan, an Amazon loan, you could do that. You could also do small business loans, um, SBA loans, which are actually backed by the government. And then you could ask for an investor, uh, ask a close family or friend, um, ask your significant other. You could start a side hustle to fund your Amazon business. You could liquidate some of the inventory in your warehouse that's just sitting around not moving. There's tons of options for Amazon funding. Yeah, and, and even if you don't need funding and you haven't had a bank loan yet, go into your local bank, the bank where your account is set up, your Amazon account, and ask for a small loan. Even if they only offer you a thousand, use it, pay it back, use it, pay it back. Six months again, go back and increase it and start 
building a credit relationship with that bank mm. because if you don't it's never going to happen like I think at about the three year so it's either the three or five year mark you can get that SBA loan but if you're not ready for that go into the bank and, and, and start building that credit relationship with your local bank and everything Eric just said is solid advice that you can use to get funding can Amazon continue its current popularity yes I think it's just getting more popular. Yeah, I mean, listen, it it every everything ebbs and flows. So there'll be a point in time where it won't will no longer be as popular as it is. But right now, it's on the up and up still. Uh, so it's time to capitalize and at the same time look at the different marketplaces and different revenue streams where you see potential for the future, uh, and take it from there. But right now, it's still on the up and up. It's still very strong, and there's no reason to not uh, capitalize while it's here question fba prep center that you recommend eric you have uh, i've never used one yeah do you have any right. recommendations <laughs> no, i've never used we've one. never used one so i can't recommend one but google great option there's mm -hmm. reviews google reviews ask in some facebook forums um ask some other reputable amazon sellers yeah or you can check out brave.com they don't sell your data like google does yeah what did uh who's that emerald yeah, he's killing the game right now. He's he's making sure this guy who's Ernal Ernal DLA. I'm I don't know how to pronounce your name. Can can you break it down in syllables for me? Um, it keeps hitting us with the questions. This is what we expect during a live session. Hit us with the questions while we're here. Can Amazon continue its current popularity? Yes. Emerald Avenue Shop says I got a cease and desist letter from Medela. Uh, said to take the listing down and set a letter revealing my source. Took the listing down, didn't send the letter. Should I be worried? No, you shouldn't. No. Not at all. Not at all. Don't even... It's just like... Uh, it's almost like... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like... Harassment? Um, yeah. Yeah. Harassment. <laughs> yeah. It's harassment. We burn those letters. Yeah. We don't even open them anymore. Actually, we, we burn them in front of their facilities. <laughs> yeah. In front of their offices. No, we don't... Honestly, we just... We understand that it, it's like everything we're doing is ethical and it's completely legal we're compliant uh we're purchasing from authorized distributors suppliers if not from the brand directly um so and, and so you shouldn't have issues but if you're a smaller account that is always a great idea to just remove the listings and not have to worry have a doko tastes good on my beans yeah 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 do you guys own amazon <laughs> no we do not own amazon some stock but not the company yeah. yeah so we own amazon just yeah yeah i do own actually a portion of amazon like a millionth of a percent what else so you don't want to exit it bro no, be careful with them, those fingers what's the secret between keeping your business relationship balanced the secret uh, i guess really just honesty like we have no problem calling each other out on our shit and but like it's 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 in love and it's in it's in the spirit of growth Right, so sometimes I'll call Sebastian out on his shit. Like the other day, he's in my office, and he told me we we're going to drop something, and I was like giving him shit. Like, are you sure we're going to drop it? Because it's been dropping for a while, and then he rebuttaled with giving me some shit for you gave me something. I don't know what we were <laughs> dropping. I don't remember this fight. Oh, the eighth, the twentieth. You said no shipment on the nineteenth, the twentieth, because we're dropping the. Oh yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. The, the, the use offer. Yeah. 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 And then you gave me something. Uh, oh, I purchased, I double ordered $5,000 worth of inventory. I double ordered $5,000 worth of inventory. But we're solution based, right? So I made a mistake, but I fixed it instantly. Before he even knew about it, I had the solution, right? And him, before I even know about an issue, he comes with the solution. So when we bring it, when we bring that problem to each other, there's already a solution in play. And, and the people in the position that can handle that solution are already notified. And and we really keep our business life in our in our. Uh, actually, I don't know if we do that. No, we don't. friendship and business. No, it's the same shit. Right? Uh, it's, at the end of the day, it just happens. Like I don't know. I mean, I don't have many friends. Like it's, it's like I choose. I, I keep my circle very tight, and this is just somebody that's lasted through the years. That's it. It's a filter process. Yeah. Been through the filter and many many friends, and now it's come down to whoever many we have left, and it's uh. 
It's it's you know it's a pretty healthy relationship. So you got to be with somebody that you you've grown with and work with, and you have a solid relationship. And then we got humble Ted in the mix too, and he's like that too. And we we bust each other's balls, but we know we have each other's backs, and that's what mm. it is. Like that's that's all you have to say. It's like we bust each other's chops, but we have each other's backs, and we don't have to say to each other. We just know. I got a quick story. I know we got a lot of questions coming. It'll be a quick story. Maybe this was probably. I want to say maybe 2006, so 13 or 14 years ago, maybe even 2005. Sebastian, we met, he moved to my hometown where I grew up. Uh, so he moved there for a couple months and I didn't see him for like a year or two. And all of a sudden he showed up in a parking lot where I was staying and uh, just like showed up out of nowhere. I happened to be at the house that I was staying at and he's like, um, he's like, hey, I'm building this side hustle. It was a different side hustle. We don't have to get into what the side hustle was. But um, he's like, and I need a building. I, I, I'm building this airplane for the side hustle, and I need, I need a wingman, and I want it to be you. And like ever since, really, then since day one, we've been hustling side by side, regardless of what the hustle is, whether we're selling candy, uh, jewelry, running the streets, no selling streets. products on Amazon. No streets. There's kids watching. <laughs> There's the no streets. Is there a way to get reimbursed for a customer return when they put an old item in the box of the new item they bought from us? That's going to be a difficult one. Proving that. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to be, be di- it's going to be very difficult for you to prove that. Uh, it, you have just a better chance and a lot less energy wasted if you just go forth from there and just concentrate on growing your business versus looking at the past and what went wrong. Right. Yeah. So, so, so when we used to look at our returns and we used to kind of like, you know, kind of sit there and sulk about different products and how it was unfair that they were being returned, we weren't putting our focus on to how to grow our business. And now that we've put all our focus on growing our business, our return rate, like Eric said before, is lower than it's ever been. You know, 120,000 orders a month and we're looking at a 1.1% return rate. Good question, Emerald. How do you guys handle cease and desist letters? How do you know when to respond and when to ignore? To me, if they are going to send it without a signature confirmation, I treat. So I think really this this would be best explained that we can go so deep into cease and desist letters. So if it, there's we offer uh, consulting services, and I think really half hour hour session, it will be worth every single penny of the investment. It will help you grow your business from here on out. So whenever you get in a cease and desist letter, you know the exact steps on how to deal with them. If we were to talk about this now we'd need a half hour to an hour to explain the whole process so it's not something we're going to take this uh, live session up with but we do offer consulting services to explain that in detail yeah and i gave you guys kind of like what you need to do if you if you've been watching I, i've told you what to do i mean then we just break it down into depth as far as like what the template should be what the co- response should be how how it should be handled who you should be cc'ing on them and, and all that information that's pertinent to to you getting that uh claim appealed or if it's a cease and desist letter also what exactly should you be doing and when you should or shouldn't take it seriously i mean i gave you that when we answered emerald's question but to, like to, you know to reiterate what eric said to really go into depth which is i think what you're asking will be longer than, unfortunately, we're going to be here for. No. Aaron, Elda, you cannot ask our net profits. Why not? They could ask. Yeah, you could ask. (laughs) You're not sure. Go ahead. (laughs) You could ask. Best Partner USA about the prep center. Okay. Okay, there we go. Best Partner USA. Check them out. Check them out. I would do a test order first if you're going to send some things. Don't go send them 5,000 units. Maybe start with 100 or 200 test orders if i get a bad review for something i sold because the person says the item was used but wasn't and amazon didn't take off the review when i requested it be taken off what would be my next steps you contact the customer that's your only step you contact the customer and you ask them to remove it let them know that you're a small business this and that do not offer to give them anything in exchange for removing it because that's against the terms of services do not offer them a discount on their next order basically do not try to offer them anything to remove it you can just simply ask them to remove it maybe give them a sob story about your how you're a small family business and, and apologize for the mistake on your end and and that's it 
Um, C Blunt 93 said tactical arbitrage, AMZ analyzer, price checker. Which do you guys personally like? AMZ analyzer. Thanks for the info, guys. USPS just delivered a shipment. Got to run. All right, adios. See you, Codes Nutrition. Hit that like button for YouTube. That's right. Subscribe. Hit that like button. How much do you charge for consulting sessions? Estimate for a half hour. Uh, it's an estimate about 150 or 140, which is very, very reasonably priced if you ask me. And it only goes up over time because the demand is there and the busier we get with consulting, the more expensive it becomes. So if you're looking for consulting, it's you don't want to wait two or three months because by then the price will probably be 50% higher. Exactly. So I think that's it. Questions yeah. have dwindled. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Thanks for joining us on another Instagram Live. Check us out, Check social us out. media. We're on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. What else am I missing? Instagram, which you know, because we're talking to you right now. LinkedIn, just f check us out. Amazon Lit in all different forms. Amazon underscore Lit, Amazon dot Lit, Amazon Lit, one word. Just type it in, you'll find us. And? We got the website dropping. Oh soon. yeah, the yeah, website. stay tuned. We got the website. Oh man, no more how much tree. content. Well, how much content are we oh, gonna have? Oh man, the content, tools, the services. Website. Oh man. So be prepared. Information about our trade shows. Information about when we're traveling the country. Information when we're gonna be in your neck of the woods. Yeah, come meet us. You know, information of when we're gonna have our next meetup, and you could be part of that. So that's gonna be all on our website. We're dropping that in the next two weeks. We've been working on it hard. It's looking great. Uh, we're really excited about that. Yeah. So stay tuned and stay lit. Talk to you soon.